Hit that I'm live. Click here to reload the player. Okay, are we back? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait a few seconds for the whatever is going on with the ads to. What is happening today? I think this has happened like four times today. This is not supposed to happen this many times. This is like supposed to be something where I have to make two VODs instead of, you know, four or whatever, I, instead of one. And instead I'm gonna make like five VODs today because the thing just keeps breaking every like 12 seconds. This is four VODs already. It went down two hours ago. It went down 37 minutes ago and it went down two minutes ago. What is happening? This is not, this is not reasonable. I might have to call my ISP about it. I'm not super happy that I have to call my ISP. Is this, is this a problem that everybody's happening, having with Twitch? Is this, is this a thing where I can say, well, you know, it's probably just Twitch being Twitch, or is this a thing where I have to actually talk to my ISP? I feel like it's a thing that I need to talk to my ISP at this point. <sighs> Sad times. Okay. At any rate, uh, we are going to... Yeah, then that's... <laughs> The, the thing that's weird about it is that it's, it's not like my internet's going down or something. So I don't know what's happening with this in particular. Um, and honestly, it just sounds like meddling by the ISP if it's not a problem that is con like a constant one with Twitch. <sighs> Oh shit. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with them. Okay. What if I jump in the middle here? What if what if I simply What if I simply dove into the thing and fought in here? How are you doing? This swordsman is fine right now. How are you doing? You're probably gonna find yours only got three enemies on you. This swordsman is uh, low, we need to get out. And we cleared a few of them. Alright, so we're far enough away that the swordsman who was low is no longer in a risky position, I think. So this swordsman is a bit low. This swordsman is not even that low. And I don't even, the thing that's wild is that I might be able to just clear these over here without causing a problem for the swordsman. Um, so let's try that. Uh, yeah, we could, we could at the very least burn down this one without, without risk, I think. Let's, let's try burning this down. The more targets we have, that are available for our friendlies to, or for the enemies to hit, the better. Um, and getting those two away from the one so that they're splitting their damage into all the damage that's coming in elsewhere might be uh, really impactful. And yeah, we didn't take any extra damage here, so we didn't get in range to cause a problem. I'm not going to do that one there, but those three might now consolidate. So hopefully we can make that work. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it 
It won't hurt us. It won't hurt us. Let's see. We can take it. Try to burn through this one. We got it. And I'm not going to try to burn through anymore. We are just going to try to get out of here before this guy dies. He's not at meaningful risk right now. Those guys are fine. I think... Okay, so that one is, I think, the only one who has a big problem. So we cleared out a good portion of the enemies that are going to cause a problem for that guy. These are not in quantities enough to cause a problem. This is fine. Wow, this is such a different experience. Like, legitimately, it's such a bizarre experience to try to, like, um... I don't know, like... Fight with these as opposed to like as opposed to like the full-on escort mission of trying to keep them alive because they're actually so tanky that um like they're relevant to my strategy right like i can fight a lot more of these goblins at a time because these guards are here uh, it's kind of wild. Okay, so this swordsman is still fine. We've cleared out all the ones over here. So I actually did fail to kill that one. The guard actually got the finishing strike on that. So this is exciting. We're, we're gonna we're gonna fight alongside our guards and take out uh, all of the remaining enemies on our territory. Okay. Do I have to drink from a thing in Harmondale Castle, actually? Uh, we got a couple more legendaries. One of which we can't equip right now because we need to like completely rewrite it. So I think what we're gonna do maybe for a treat is if we If we can clear these out in a timely manner, which I think we can, I think we'll spend the last bit of the stream uh, trying to get that legendary into a usable state and try to make it, like, basically one of our, like, best in slot final um, gear pieces. Um, even though the legendary effect isn't that strong, like, what are the odds that we find six legendary cloaks? To, you know what I mean? Like, we're not going to find six legendary cloaks, most likely. Um, so, even though we don't really care about the affects on that, um, we can still make use of it as a best-in-slot piece for someone who doesn't have a legendary effect. And I think that that's worth that. Okay, this swordsman is the weakest of the bunch now. And we want to head off at the pass any attempt to go somewhere dangerous. We're now in the green. We can go ahead and save things. Look how the, look at him just like wandering. It's so cool. It, the, it, we're winning. For now, I mean, we still. Oh, shit. 
We have to deal with the spawns still, I guess. Okay, I think we can just hit hold A and refine. Okay, I think we've now cleared the exterior. Uh, we have... Um, we still have to deal with the, uh, the swarm that will spawn when we, uh... Let's leave it behind. When we tag the chest in the middle. So we do still have to deal with that. I can't carry and that'll be dangerous because, you know, they'll spawn on top of all these guards. Don't cause any trouble. Don't cause any trouble. What are you talking about? My guy. You will stand in the middle of a gigantic fortress full of enemies who are trying to murder you. And I came in and I pretty explicitly saved your life with great personal difficulty and cost. And your response to that is don't cause any trouble. Come on. Let's leave it behind. Come on. My guy. Okay. God, I just I just remembered the cutscene and it's so dumb. It's so funny. It's so funny. I think we should draw the line here. I think we should draw the line here. <laughs> hey, did you consider drawing the line here? <laughs> uh. It's it's so funny. It, it like comprehend like it's a very difficult like political thing to do. So the thing the thing that's being described is not a simple thing, but they you they have like these tiny cutscenes to explain everything. So within the context of just like the cu the cutscene, it really is just so funny how like dumb everyone involved comes up. <laughs> Uh. Okay, so we've just spawned a billion goblins. Some of them got spawned on a person, so we're going to try to defend them first. It looks like it's just like a bunch of like first-tier goblins that spawned, so... It should be, honestly, not that big a deal, I think. Um, we might be able to just go to each of these, like, without even resetting anything. We might be able to just go through this. That being said, I have to actually survive the fight. Easy prey. How low are you? Not very. Regen? Okay, we have, we have regen still. Okay. Too easy. Okay, we have one goblin. And, ooh, that other pack is fighting. Ooh, that's bad. That's very bad. How much damage did they take? Oh, they took so much damage. Oh my god, they almost died. I did not realize that they were fighting over there. Ooh, ooh, baby, that could have been real bad. But we don't have any bodies, just barely. So, we're okay. We're okay. We just barely don't have any casualties. So, go over here. Did I save? I didn't save. Who needs to save? It's not like I need to save if I like six trillion goblins, right? It's not like they can hurt me or nothing. It's not what, like we're playing on some doom mode. Easy prey. 
can take it. Okay, I'm just gonna switch my fish man, because we're not in a rush. There we go. Alright, we're now going to save over the dungeon slot that we had, uh, just in case. And there is a soldier down here, I didn't realize. But I'm pretty sure that we're still in the clear. I'm pretty sure we're still in the clear. We are going to pop out of here. We're going to go save. And uh, we're going to go uh, reset the, the swarm. Then we'll fight the, the last bits of the swarm. And we will be done with Harmondale completely, actually. This is the, the last bit that we need to finish up and we'll still have probably 45 minutes that might be optimistic uh left in stream to putter around in our inventory and try to get that legendary to where we want it to be the other thing that i'm going to do before i forget because i don't want to make this go badly for me i had no food um you all can't see that but i can see it and, uh, yeah, if, if I get dropped to half HP because 3 a.m. ticks, that's a concern for me. So we're going to drop into here. We're going to try to burn through the ones that are hitting me first. cleared these and so now we just have this pack here where's the guard was there a guard over here what the hell happened did the guard wander all the way over here because there's no body whoa wait what am i doing i can't fight this many goblins by myself <laughs> did i even say i didn't save I'm just so dopey. Okay, this is a little hard. I don't know where the I don't know where the guard was over there went. There was definitely a guard over there just now that was on the opposite side of them. Right, I'm gonna try burning through these. Person's kind of low. It's so funny how fast they die, actually. Like, all right. So we cleared those. We got the same gloves from before, and we can get this. We can. Oh, we can cast fly. How are you on HP? You're mostly full. So. We can take it. I just hit the swordsman. Guess we're gonna find out what happens when I. Alright, we're gonna. We're, we have to leave and come back. I just tagged one of the swordsmen accidentally. If I have to reload this again, this, la this last tiny setup that... I like how the person talking is the swordsman. 
Uh, let's let's take a look here. We're gonna find out if resetting this resets their aggro. My hope is that it does, and I suspect that it does. It does not. God damn it. Okay, so that's that's pretty rough. I don't even know why I was hitting one of them. I just fucked it up apparently. Hey. I, I felt like there were plenty of opportunities to have blasted one of these guys in previous things. So I was like, okay, well, clearly it's harder to attack a friendly NPC than I thought. And I've been more careful than I need to be, but that is clearly not the case. But I've had situations where, like, goblins, like, I killed all the goblins and still did additional attacks. Too easy. And didn't, like, hit someone. My guess is that probably I had my cursor over one of the guards and didn't notice. I think we're fine here. Okay. We're in the green, which means that we didn't kill, we didn't aggro the guards. Perfect. We're going to go back here and we're going to save the game. And then. Ooh, let's go to the gazebo. We just pulled into the gazebo. I think the gazebo is safe. So. If we just fight them in here, I think we're fine. They don't actually have line of sight on us, so... You know what? Life is good. Life is good. We've cleared out Harmondale. We have cleared out all of the enemies in this area. We have a neutral reputation. I wonder if we get a different response from people if we do if we have a different reputation. I don't know if we actually talked to the obelisk on this. Yes, we did. On the on this uh, save. So I think we just save under test now. We've cleared out Harmondale. We have. Uh, the ability to dick around in our inventory for a while. So let's identify all the stuff that we haven't identified in our inventory, which is, honestly, not a lot. And then we had a cloak that we could improve. And we have legendary on you that's... We have a legendary on you that has a very good effect and is very low level and kind of funny. Um, we could... It's, considering that this is one of our like best-in-slot items, I think we're going to... Um, at the very least, up the tier on it. Because why the hell not, right? Like Upping the tier on this is just going to be a fairly low-impact effect. That, like, maybe if we got a weapon really soon, we could get more value out of doing it with a weapon. Um, but even, like, for armor, like, we're going to struggle to find a bunch of armor that's, like, a huge upgrade over what we've got anyway. Um, we have two legendary armors equipped. Uh, we have three legendary, I think? Yeah, we have three legendary armors equipped. So, there we go. So, we found this. Um, how many Scouring Pearls do we need? 
to beat Atlas, we don't need that much, honestly. Beating Atlas isn't going to be that hard, I don't think. It does have really good armor on it. Um, it has 100-some might. So this has 100 intellect, 100 luck. I feel like we need to get might onto this in order for it to realistically be um, a direct replacement to that cloak. But we could also get it as a replacement to this cloak, which is a bit easier, except for the fact that that's a lot of boosts to, like, the, the fact that that's of the gods is going to be harder to replace, potentially. So, do we ha how many of these scouring pearls do we have? Do we have enough scouring pearls that we are content to purge the intellect and the resistance? And I don't know if the answer to that question is yes, honestly. So we've got a Necromancer Cloak. So we've gone from like three armor to eight. Which is technically a difference. What does this give? It gives resists. So I don't think it's going to be really that worth it to upgrade that until we have a reason to expect... To make it like really out of control so i'm not going to worry about that too much this has 25 to all resists Dighty. and right what was i looking for i got distracted i was looking for ascension gems i think ascension gems and scouring pearls is what i'm looking for right because this, if I if I have more scouring pearls, I'm not going to use more, but it's good to know that I have them. Um, let's see. I think. That's another scouring pearl. Perfect. So we have at least three of these. Uh, they keep getting put inside of Poseidon. No space. No room. That's concerning. No room. I don't know what's happening with this inventory. This doesn't take three slots, does it? I think I'm going to drop this off in the Harmondale Castle. Harmondale Castle's chests don't get reset when Harmondale changes, right? Like, Harmondale's chests are safe, I think, even before you have, like, gotten it into its final form. I believe there's structural changes made inside, but... The chests remain fine. We'll see. Okay. If that ends up not being the case, we'll deal with the consequences of that later. Serendine's uh, preservation we don't need, I don't think. Alright, so now we have the ability to drop off a bunch of our gear. Specifically, we're going to drop off a bunch of artifacts and stuff like that um, into here. And once we've done that, we'll have a bunch of space to play with. Any of you... That's a Staff of the Swamp. That sure sounds like a legendary. Or not a legendary, a thingamabobber. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Berserker Belt. It's 402 might. Wild. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't give any armor. Uh, let's see. Wait, did chests... I couldn't swap between inventories during chests, could I? Did they... Did they... 
update that? Or is it something else that I couldn't do? Like dual wield or something? I think it must have been dual wielding. Like dual wielding axes or something. It might be both, though. I'm not positive. Okay, we don't need to get rid of that, but we do need to get rid of this. Havoc. Okay, no space in here. Move this. It, this is such a wildly like good set of stats, but I have, I have way too good of blade armor to for it to be valuable for me. Okay, Snurgle's axe. I don't think we need. No, tech. That's a quest item. I'm gonna hold on to it. Um, let's see here. Why I'm making that distinction? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we have another scouring... Do we have four scouring pearls now? That's pretty crazy, actually. That's a lot of scouring pearls. Um, let's see. So, I think it makes the most sense to utilize... the there's no room okay, do I have another artifact over here that is a lot of speed um we have good enough stuff generally that we don't need it but this is also this is also a very solid item uh, we would want to, like, upgrade its level, but we don't have enough of the things, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Taladin's Helm, we no longer need. This is of light magic. We don't need of light magic as an effect like anymore. So we're going to get rid of Taladin's Helm. Uh, we can... I'm not sure what it is. That is a... sizable stat boost. Not sure if I want to equip it or not. I'll take a look later. And what am I looking for? Right, I'm looking for specifically artifacts to drop off. I could drop off all of my like scrolls and stuff like that in one of these inventories. And I think I'm, you know what? I might actually do that. I might make one of these boxes dedicated to scrolls. I think that makes sense. Uh, let's see here. I like just arbitrarily requiring myself to no space. hold on to all this bullshit forever. But I do have to admit that now that gear is so much more important than it was before, and there's so much stuff I need to keep track of in my inventory, it's a little it's a little silly to also require myself to carry around like every random note <laughs> you know like maybe don't no you know what i'm gonna drop it i don't care all right we can put the circuit somewhere i'm sure this we can just drop, and now we have an empty box that we can put scrolls in. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Slaying potion recipe. I'm not going to... Yes, I am. I'm, I, I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to put all the things that look like that in this inventory. Agar's journal. Sounds like a plan. Letter to Arian Hunter. Why not? Letter for me? Sure. That sounds like That sounds like paper. That sounds like writing to me. A diary page? Whose diary is it? Dragon Towers? Sure, we definitely don't need that right now. And let's see, Noxious Potion? We don't need a recipe for that right now. 
We have Detect Life, we have Heal. Okay, we have Proclamation. We are, in fact, Super Goobers. But we don't need to carry it around. We've already been proclaimed Super Goobers. It's all good. And two. Now, we can go to you and say, hey, what is the bullshit that you're carrying around that we can get rid of? So many scaring pearls. What day is it today? 15th of May. Fortunately, we passed the late period of, of April without thinking about it. Okay, we cannot sort while we have the box open. So that's one mechanic that is locked out for us right now. Books from Snurgle, page 20 from a book, Prophecies of the Sun, and... I don't know why they just let me hold on to those. Like, they, they had me collect some religious relic and then just keep it. <laughs> it's like, what, you don't want to actually, like, read the Prophecies of the Sun? You just, like, wanted them not to be in some random temple? You just wanted to have an idea of who was holding on to it? I should tell you that I, like, go into random dungeons all the time. So, you know, if I misplace this, you're going to struggle to find it again. <laughs> Just so, just so everyone's clear, I do not think you should leave this with me. You know, just... Maybe pick a different... person to carry your religious artifacts, but you know... May, maybe the point is to get them lost again. Better to Snurgle, Goblin Watch Code, Dance Boost Potion, Black Resistance Recipe, <sighs> Notes for Emergency Beat. There we go. So we finished filling up that chest. We don't need this. We don't need this. And we don't need this. So, this is Dispelled Magic. We already checked this. Check this. Temple of Ba, History of the Vault of Time, and what next? Cure Weakness, that's not the right type. Cure Weakness, Remains of a Journal, Hairbow, Hairbow, and Fine. Better to Marcus. And we have two ancient stellar bows just sitting next to each other. They're not even like interesting items. So <laughs> Aphrodite. So I think we've gotten through most of our scrolls. Do we want to put Do we want to make a box? For our thingamabobbers. Let's take a look at how our inventory looks right now. We've made a pretty sizable amount of space. Uh, this is a good inventory to work with, I think. So, let's put this into the first inventory. And then I'm just gonna start dumping crafting items into this inventory. Not all of these are necessarily crafting items. If they're not crafting items, I'll, I'll get rid of them later. Okay, scouring pearl from you. Else? No. Scouring Pearl. Scouring Pearl. And Scouring Pearl. 
These are all just normal ones. These aren't the crafting type. I'm going to be very excited when we finish the quest that involves gems, whatever quest that is. Um, going to be a big difference for me. Big, big difference. Okay, I have a serious question. This isn't necessarily a question for Chad, it's also a question for myself. Feel free to chip in, but don't feel like you're required to. Should I make this cloak the craziest fucking cloak it can be? This is a cloak that I have had for so long. It has been a cloak in my inventory since basically the beginning of the game. And if I wanted to, I could remove the resistance effect on this, replace it with a doom, and level this up to level 200 as soon as I can. Like, just throw a bunch of stuff into it. Like, literally, like, actually stack points into this. Like, be go completely out of control with it. That's a thing I could do. And I'm wondering... Is that a thing that I want to do? Because I feel like the answer might be yes. Like, I'm not a very, like, nostalgic person generally i'm not terribly sentimental about this kind of stuff like as a general case and even in this particular case because it's not so much sentimentality as it is turning sentimentality into a meme that it that is attaching me to this idea and making me feel like i should do it um but nonetheless, I really do think it would be fun and want to do it. I think I might want to do that. So, for the cloak... For the other cloak... That we have... Wherever the hell it is. Is it in your inventory just sitting here somewhere? Was that it? Yes. Um, for this cloak, it's already really high level. So really all we'd be doing with this cloak is swapping the resistance effect to a different effect. Oh, right. And um, and that's basically it. That's all we're really needing to do. So I feel like yeah, let's do it. We're going to leave Castle Harmondale. We're going to save the game. And we are going to use our Scouring Pearl and make this cloak good. Where's my... I put this in the wrong part of the symmetry. Okay. So we're going to basically just save the game and scour off the thinger affix um the resistance affix am i only going to be able to scour off this because i've done it three times right
Am I always scouring off the personality, or have I been scouring off both? And it's fine if I need to work on a different item first, or something like that. I'm always scouring off the personality, I think. Okay, so let's... I was, I was thinking I'd just get this one done before I work on the other item, but we need to move the RNG in order to be able to do that probably. So we're gonna come to you. We're gonna say, hey, this is a really cool cloak, except for the fact that it's garbage. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna use the scouring pearl to get rid of the resistance because the resistance isn't a good enough affix for an item like this, I don't think. And then we're gonna try to basically re-roll the affix I'm going to make a few attempts on this. Because the RNG is sticky, but it's not. I don't think there's only one potential event, eventuality. I think there's several. So. But I could be wrong. All right. Uh, if we're going to... Okay, if we need to move the RNG a tick, what do we want to do it with? Um, I don't want to do it with either of these items. Because I don't really want to be investing further into this. Um, getting another Ascension Emerald into an item I don't think is going to move the RNG. Because it won't involve the RNG system at all. So, probably not that. I could just use a deck of fate, but those don't actually involve RNG at all. Um, I could just I could just improve this leather. Wait, will that trigger anything? I don't actually know if, if the Scouring Pearl is only doing the... Oh! Okay, we got it. Okay, so this has been moved. So we're now going to uh, level it up. We're going to 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 level it up. And is that all of our crafting cubes? We're going to see if this helps. I don't know why it would. But... Okay, this is now of the gods. So let's let's make a secondary save at, under dungeon, and we can come back to the of the gods effect if uh, we aren't able to get what we want. So we now have something of value here available. So from here, we need, what is it for cloaks? Cloaks are base, I think. So it's base plus 20. So we need to get, a ruby doesn't work. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we got it to the maximum for the rubies. And this is seven stats, HP, SP, armor, and resists. We are going to... Use the eye on this. So now we have 107 luck, 118 speed, and plus 11 to all stats. Not too shabby. And we're going to pump this up. Do we have any more crafting cubes? I don't care about my weapons, I only care about my beautiful, beautiful cloak that I've been carrying around the entire game. I've had a couple of items in my eye, like thinking about uh, doing this to. There's, there's a couple of them. The other one was the armor. The, I have the level one piece of DPS armor that I still have in my inventory somewhere. I think it's this. 
yeah, this primordial, this thing here. I guess it's not level one, but it, I got this really early and it lasted me such a long time. It was such a good item. And look at this, we have so many crafting cubes. Yes, okay, so let's save this. And where'd, where'd my cloak go? We're in, the, we're in the wrong one. We're in the wrong inventory. Did we, is that all of them? Yes. Okay. So, boop. This is such a crazy way to invest. Okay, so we're now at level 85 required. So we have a lot of upgrading we can do on this stupid cloak. This is going to be great. Um, interesting. Friendlies count for the bonus damage. Current bonus damage is 10% because I'm surrounded by my guards. That is good to know. It might not end up being relevant, but it's very important to know about. Okay. So 120 is you. Okay, that's you done. Let's do 135. Do I see 135? I, I sure do. for that. Do I hear 150? I sure do. Okay, so I don't think we have anything higher than 150, right? I think 150 is the highest that we've got right now. Okay, I think that's the highest we have to work with right now. So we now have this cloak, which is probably now going to be better than everybody's cloak. I'm just going to check everybody. I didn't check you. It's interestingly enough, it is because you have another of doom cloak that has a bunch of endurance. So it's like a mixed bag for you, but still a pretty decisive upgrade in terms of like overall throughput. Only a mediocre upgrade for you right now. Only a mediocre upgrade. The 28 armor and... The speed versus the luck. Yeah, that'll do it. So, but... No, I have too much. Go ahead and slap that on you. You now have a vampire cloak. And you are doing nice and fancy. So, the other thing that we need to do is work with this thing. So, we have this effect that gives me a boost to the other stuff. Right now, I have personality being the thing that I have set. And that's not going to change. That's not going to change. Is this, is this, yeah, Zeus looks great. Looks very well fitted. <laughs> to be sure. <laughs> very well fitted. Um, so are we going to swap the int and resist? Yeah, we are. We're going to swap the int and the resist off this item. It just occurred to me that I was purging the intelligence off of this item. I needed to purge the intelligence off of this item. I'm, I'm trying to, like, purge both intelligence and the other th the thing, and I am dumb. Okay, so we have a 1 in 3 chance of failing to purge one of the things that we want to purge. Okay, there we go. We got the right thing purged there. I could just immediately replace it with 121 personality if I wanted. But I'm not going to because we want to purge off the other thick affects first. So let's go ahead and get the scouring pearl here. And that's not what we need. And we can immediately put plus 52 to all seven statistics on this if we want. So this is the, this is like a very solid um, setup as a baseline. We're going to try to get of doom on this. 
Um, though, it, I mean, it is tempting to just take the, the all stats. All stats, I think, is more offensively powerful, and of Doom is more defensively powerful. So, if I was going to dump this onto you as an example, it might actually be best to take this. So, let's take all seven statistics for now. I think we should do that. It's tempting to do of doom on literally everything, especially because of how bad my overall stuff has been. But I think we're going to do this. We're going to make this a fairly beefy item. And then we are going to re-roll using the luck. We have a lot of gems that are not going to help us here. Mind resistance is not super helpful. Do we have any red gems? Red crafting gems, I should be specific. I guess also amber is technically, but gem, amber is a gem, right? I don't think Amber's a gem. I'm actually not sure what the definition of gem is, so I don't actually know for sure. Okay, so we need... Two. Do I want accuracy and luck? I think I want might. I think I'm going to re-roll until I get might. Okay. Might not get it though. We could actually add endurance to this. Adding endurance to this might actually be a good idea. If we put endurance, like if we had an item like th no, because it's got the all stats, it has to be it has to be purely offensive, I think. Because of the fact that I put all stats on this, we're we're doing we're we're just re-rolling until we get what we need. Okay, we are going to need to move this. We don't have any more diamonds, and I don't know that another diamond is going to help. I might need something more powerful than diamond at this point. Um, I could make another diamond. I definitely have the resources to make one. Actually, and oh, we have a crafting cube. I didn't notice this before. I'm going to dump this onto my thing here, as is good and proper. <laughs> so silly. All right. Um, I could have dumped it onto this to re-roll this, I think. But um, what do I want to do? Do I want to take this endurance, or do I want to? I can check at the very least the uh, if I make these into a crafting diamond. I didn't even notice that I had those other things in there. Wait, these aren't in this inventory. 
What is happening? I can't choose. It's it's this is doing it across all of my inventories. What's what's going on? Is it all the things that you have? Maybe in every inventory. Odd. Can you? No. Is everybody Tobaz and Jerupi? Okay, everybody's purple Tobaz and Jerupi. So maybe I just need to swap off of it for everybody else. Yes, okay, there we go. So we created a crafting diamond. So that, that's good to know. So it'll, it'll look at all of them for that. All right, we can't use a diamond to advance this any further unless we pump the endurance in. And if we pump the endurance in, then we're kind of locking this into being a very strangely statted item, which I guess I'm okay with. It's fine. I'm actually fine with that. That's fine. This is this is a strangely statted item, and that's okay. So we have an hourglass somewhere, and use that. So now we have a legendary hunter's huntsman's cloak of the gods, which is substantially stronger than it was just now, and we we could put this on for a fifteen percent boost to both, or a four percent and a sixteen percent. And if I do you, this is a slight drop in power for a little bit of vitality. And who amongst us would not like this effect. I don't think that this, the, the secondary effect on this is even theoretically that useful for Silria, because Silria's stats are all fairly similar because of the other artifact. So I'm tempted to just put this on Severia and continue leaning into Severia being more of a hard carry. But honestly, I don't know that I need to now. I think we're in a good position. Um... Like, we've managed to clear... Like, the first area, I was really worried that we were going to struggle to make progress into Might Magic 7. Um, like, the bats, the rats, the, all these things were doing so much damage. They were so deadly that I was, I was very concerned that I was going to struggle to even finish Emerald Island. And then we finished Emerald Island. We came here. And things were mostly chill here. Um, you know, we had a couple of wipes, not that many. And from here, we can choose where to go next, which means that, like, the we have a lot of options. And I feel like we're going to be able to start catching up again. And with that being the case, it makes me less interested in turning Severia into, like, a solo on a fundamental level. My backup, if I start to really, really struggle, is to just dump everything on Severia that's good and have Severia solo the game. That is a backup that I have in my back pocket, and I think I can make that work. But that's a backup. That's not what I want to be doing. That's something that is in my that's in my back pocket. You'll notice while we were wandering around here, Severia is currently so tanky that unless the entire party was wiping, it was very uncommon for Severia to go down. Because Severia actually can survive a single hit and can do can get work done. So the um, so putting this onto Severia would mean that Severia is basically meant to hard carry. And so as a result of that, I'm not going to put it onto Severia. I'm instead going to put it on Silria. 
And Silria is going to become substantially tankier, substantially more durable, substantially better able to deal with the problems that we might have against us. And I could, if I want, and I should, I should both desire to do it and I should just do it, invest a small amount of resources into making this cloak way better. Uh, because we can just turn this, like use like fairly low level material. I might not even need a material this high, but I don't know where my amber that I had was. So we're just gonna dump as many of these as we can. This is not an actual crafting material. And let's see. Get these into the correct inventory. And we will we will still be improving Severia by doing this because we could just invest a little bit into this and it'll be a better item than what Severia is wearing right now. Um, it honestly might not even be worth it, <laughs> to be perfectly frank. Um, if we get another legendary cloak, which I don't know, I don't know how I don't know what the likelihood of that is. Um, it might be fairly high, it might be fairly low, um, but we've already gotten four of them. So if we have, I think I've gotten four, right? You have a legendary, you have a legendary, and you have, yeah, I have four legendary cloaks. So if I find one more legendary cloak, then any investment into an, another cloak is kind of meaningless. So I wouldn't want to invest too heavily into this cloak, but it's a fairly decent cloak with, you know, goodish stats that, you know, makes sense to upgrade, right? Uh, let's see here. What were the things I was looking for? I was looking for a purple topaz. And barring that, I'll just use a couple of these. And we've got a little bit of extra HP there over what we had before. And I am, I think, content with that. I think we're I think that is a perfectly reasonable level of investment that gets us a little bit of extra vitality over what we had before gives us a little bit of a difference in power and the advantage of equipping this now is that eventually Atlas is going to stop scaling it'll scale up until 250 we're almost to the point where it's going to stop scaling and I think that it makes a degree of sense to just equip this and we'll do a little bit less damage right now, but we also get a little bit more durability, which is great for this character. And we know that we can improve that more in the future if we so desire. So we've upgraded our cloak game and we have the ability to invest further on that front whenever we want. I am I am currently just looking, doing one more quick search to see if there's any crafting cubes in my inventory, because I will use it on that cloak because it's funny to me. Um, and we're all good. So we're, we've, we've finally started upgrading this cloak, and honestly, I think well worth it. I think I think that that is actually going to help me a bit. The fact that we're finally taking that legendary, which was you, you can't unequip it. It's got too good an effect to unequip it, like under almost any circumstances. And to take that legendary and make it so that it has, because it already had the luck of the speed improved quite a bit earlier. Um, but it makes a lot of sense to do this. Okay, right, so we have finished up Harmondale. We have, I think, done a good job culling through some of our crafting resources. Do we have other stuff that we want to invest into? We probably should. 
right? So if we have, like I could improve the speed and accuracy of this if I wanted. Um, and I should probably want that, right? Do I have a thing? Because this is overkill right now. I don't think this is good enough. I don't think the reds are good enough. I think I need one of these. Yes, and that is the correct thing to be using right now. So, I mean, I might need a, I might only need a red, in which case I just wasted that, but it's not that huge a deal. Because um, we're, we're not even, like, getting reds anymore. Let's see, anything. Uh, we're looking for sunstones. Yeah, I think... I think we're mostly tapped out unless we wanted to invest a bunch of these into a weapon. And we do, but we don't want to do it on this one. So maybe we'll do it on the Grand Poleaxe? We cannot. The, the Grand Poleaxe is already past the point where it can benefit from that. This one is too low to invest those into. We, we, we need to get a bunch of low-level materials to invest this. Um, we actually need, uh, we don't need anything for, that's not a two-hander, so. This is a chest piece, so we probably could invest into that a considerable bit. Uh, we have personality and endurance on this, which isn't that interesting. We have endurance and luck here. Can we invest these into you? No. So that isn't a high enough level gem for that, which means we're looking to do... We'd be looking at basically doing gloves or something akin to gloves if we were going to do this. Um, or, or we could just do this, honestly. Um, I don't know what I want to do with that. I could start upgrading these Moderate Gauntlets. Do I have any other leg legendary... I do have boots, but my boots are probably pretty far behind, right? I don't know that that's the appropriate thing for these. These are too far behind for that to be... Well, this is the wrong type. Um, these are an option, actually. And it's not great to be investing even more <laughs> into Severia right now. It's not really what I want to be doing. But Severia does have the thing that I want to invest in. So... Them's the brakes. Let's see, we have this belt here. I think I'm gonna keep pumping this sword with the rest of these, and that's basically what we're gonna do. That's like the last bit. And I think I think, I think we're golden for that. I'm going to just use the crafting sapphires as well. Let's see. And... Sort you. Yeah, I think, I think that's a fairly good position. Let's use the crafting ambers on some two-handed weapon. If we can, like... Can we use the crafting ambers on this? Like, is that actually so weak that we can use crafting ambers on it? No. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything a little bit above an amber? Okay. Do you have anything else I could upgrade with a crafting amber? Probably not, right? 
Yeah, these one-handers are fairly weak that we have. We'll need to invest into those eventually. Um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get around to those soon. And we've got this set up in an appropriate manner, I think. We still need to level our stuff up up at some point no we don't we, we, we're actually we're all good on that so we can do like probably a whole next zone and be okay there so we've got about 120,000 vitality now on you our dps is continuing to go up let's take a look at our damage values for the different characters now so silvery is falling further and further behind in damage um, like, very, very far behind in damage. Part of that is spending a lot of time unconscious, um, so that is a component. Um, and part of that is spending a tiny bit of time healing, um, but a lot of that is just not being able to, you know, keep up with the damage output of the rest of the party. Um, Severia is still doing bonkers amounts of damage or rather is doing bonkers amounts of damage again now that we have invested into getting the polax back up to date and getting some of our other stuff in order um we have replaced the really crazy um cloak with a substantially less crazy one in terms of like theoretical damage output um, and that's a thing that we've done. Where's the other cloak? I'm not going to worry about it. So, things are looking pretty good so far. Is today Friday? Today's Thursday. So, tomorrow, uh, we will be doing Eraphia, I believe, unless I am very wrong. Uh, we'll probably be able to get through Arathia. I think that we can basically just sort of like dive into Arathia. We can plow through most of the stuff. And then one of the dungeons there is going to be extremely difficult to do. Um, the castle itself is going to be a struggle. But it's also going to be potentially very rewarding. Um, there's a lot of really high-level enemies in there that will potentially get us a lot of really, really nice stuff. So that is going to be it for today, so thank you for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure to stream for you today, and I hope to see you again tomorrow when we'll be taking out our allies.